Okay, Itamak Good morning. It is just after eight o'clock on Tuesday, June fifth, twenty eighteen, in the lunar cycle opposite Sishkit Satos, the flower moon. And I don't know what's going to be on the agenda today as far as wildlife work goes. Maybe some snake calls. Maybe some injured birds. Who knows? Um, but I'm starting off my morning back here at the residence with the uh, skunk family living underneath this air conditioner. So they didn't get trapped last night, apparently. But I've got the camera trap set up here, and so I'm downloading right now the, uh, the film from the camera trap, and we're going to find out what happened last night. The camera caught a few shots of these two baby skunks moving around, checking out the trap, never quite going in it, <laughs> backing away sometimes, scared from the light of the camera. Um, just these two, sometimes just one, the camera caught, no mama. Okay, it's now just past 11 o'clock and I am on my way down to Paradise to the golf club. They have a snake for me in the bucket, so don't know if it's going to be another brand new face, probably, but it could be someone we know, another snake we've seen before. Anyway, I'll be down there pretty quick here. Hello. Another snake. <laughs> Finally got a day without wind. <laughs> this guy was pretty quiet on the drive over. Um, and there was one like that the other day too. I think this box is doing its trick in terms of keeping them calm while, while we're in transit, you know. is coming right up, buddy. And come on out here. bit like like coming uh, storm we'll see okay itamo up in we have reached another dawn well and this video is rolling into day two it is the morning of June 6 2018 and um, just after 8 o'clock in the a.m. you know that snake that I picked up yesterday turned out that this was the same snake that I picked up on May 30th, I believe it was. Um, same young male snake. 
So I've given him a name. I'm going to be calling him um, Ross from here out. Uh, because in his earlier image where he looked like he had all those angles and stuff um, from May 30th, the picture that I took from him, looks like he's kind of trying to spell Ross with his body. <laughs> Anyway, I have just dropped off Bell at school and Mahoney at work, and now I'm starting my day rolling down over to the uh, skunk house to see what's going on over there. I didn't receive any text or call this morning, so probably don't have an animal in a trap, but um, what I'm interested in is what came out on the camera trap. We saw the two young skunks in the videos from the previous night. And uh, but no sign of mama, which is a little bit weird. Now the resident did did bring up that she did some um, some uh, herbicides in her front yard uh, recently, and that some of those weeds that she had um, sprayed had then been dug dug out, excavated. So she's kind of wondering whether or not mama might be sick or something happened to her from the herbicides if she was digging up those roots. I don't know, but I, I sure would like to see that mama's still there. I'm starting to think about, because this job here is so difficult, I'm starting to think about just timing it with the, uh, you know, looking at the, the video feed that we've got, kind of figuring out what time the skunks are likely to come out and maybe coming out here and setting up a, a blind and just kind of watching what happens myself. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. I'm not not to that extreme yet, but... Because <laughs> if I can't trap them, I could still evict them. I could still kind of wait for the family to shuffle out, and then I could close off the um, their access to that den. That might be what I have to do, but we'll see. Yeah, nobody in the traps. I came and set up this second trap yesterday thinking that maybe they didn't want to go in the box, but if they could see through from one side to the other, maybe they might use it. So this trap, this second trap has a an open end on the back, cage end. But they didn't use that either. However, camera trap has something. I'm downloading it. I'll bring it home and throw it on the computer, see what we got. Just a single skunk baby this time. Uh, I got four different tracks with this baby walking in front of the camera. Well, it could be multiple babies, I don't know, but I only got one, one at a time. Definitely interested in the trap, but not quite going in there. <laughs> Probably good for the baby, not so good for my client. Okay, about an hour has passed. It's 9.30 in the a.m. and I just received a call through the rattlesnake hotline of a snake up at, near the conjunction of Highway 3 and Highway 25. Um, just headed out of West Lethbridge. Somebody said there, I asked, is a snake on the road? And she said, it's on a path in front of her. I don't know of any paths over there, but um, let's go check it out. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's a bull snake. It's a bull snake. Big bull snake. Yeah. Yeah. He's shaking his tail, but. Yeah, he's a big bull snake. That's a garter snake. It's a bull snake. Bull? Oh, yeah. Really? Bull snake. Yeah. And they know been around here for since I was a kid. My dad talked about them. Yeah, they're they get pretty big. They get six feet long. Because because I had my son look on. I thought he said there was a the, in Western Canada the largest Western garter snake. They can get quite humongous, eh? They, they can too. Yeah, the wandering garter. These ones don't have a rattle. The nope. No, but they they do put on a good good display. Oh, oh yeah, he he yeah, uh, he had a display the other day it. there. They'll hiss and they'll. But it's yeah. a bull snake. Yeah, I'm wrong. Oh, I'm glad I said so oh, I wanted to come and learn that. I thought he was a rattlesnake. Because <laughs> I heard they back in the day when we were kids, every uh, dad was a uh, there because of the cliffs when we got slumpage there. They could get fairly good size, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I no, they for, do. I'm sorry. I thought for sure he was a rattlesnake. Oh no, it's oh, okay. It's close to protecting him though. 
still get him out of the way so he doesn't end up on the road. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was Gardner's thing, but... Yeah, I walked right up on him. Pretty good size, eh? Yeah, they're big. They're mean. <laughs> Is that a male? Um, pretty hard to tell. Hard to tell with okay. the, with the mole snakes. Put them put in the box there and <laughs> give them a new home somewhere. <laughs> Her place. Yeah. No. She's got two dogs. She wants another pet. She can't afford a cat, eh? So. <laughs> yeah, not a happy bull snake. Did he bite you? No, no, he pooped on me a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. There's finally lots of uh, cotton in the air. Cottonwood trees are seeding out. And funny thing about that, <laughs> whenever that happens, there's this little spider who uh, comes onto the top of these absinthe plants and makes these little webs. It looks just like cotton from the cottonwood tree, you know, caught, like this is cotton from a cottonwood tree. This is the webbing. <laughs> so it's a really good camouflage, but it just is for this timing with the cottonwoods. It's pretty amazing. I've never been able to figure out what the species of that spider is yet. Um, I'm curious about whether it came here with the introduction of the absinthe plants or whether it's been here all along, um, you know, with the cottonwoods. I, I tend to think probably the latter that's been here all along uh, because I do see it use the tips of some other plants, but it just happens to be that the absinthe, you know, like look at this. Here it's using the, the tip of some grass, you know, an old grass stem. So it will use other plants, but it prefers to use absinthe if it has a choice. Anyway, hiking the snake out over by the high level bridge here for a release. I like this as a bull snake release site out here by the peninsula in view of the high level bridge. I know there's a bull snake den just over that way. We've got all this current brush and bullberry brush where there's a lot of small wildlife that you could take advantage of. So seems as good a place as any to me. Didn't have the bucket cam running unfortunately. It went out of battery so I gotta replace the battery maybe for my for my next uh, snake call. I also want to relocate the, the kind of like reposition the bucket cam too so it's a little bit lower closer to the snakes like we had it last summer. And I want to get a red light for inside the, the box so we can see what's going on. This is a heavy snake. Let's see if I can bring her out. This is a big, big heavy snake. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> Now she's mad, now I'm making her mad. She's gonna zap me. <laughs> I'm gonna let her go. She's mad, mad. Mad, mad. Big and heavy snake. <laughs> that was close. She could throw herself pretty far. Look at that kink. Look at that big S kink to get her whole body ready to, to roll at me. All right, we'll leave her alone. It is now Lethbridge rush hour, <laughs> 4.30 in the afternoon, and I'm with Miss Bell. Hi. We... Oh yeah, the deer. They're all boy deers out here. They're all the bucks. Yeah, I was looking at them today around uh, Riverstone Strip. There's quite a few bucks, <laughs> mule deer bucks. Anyway, yeah, we're headed to um, Canyon Estates because there's a rattlesnake on somebody's driveway. So we're going to go pick it up, bring it back to the Kool-Aid. Okay. 
the kids is having a meltdown. Hello. How's it going? Good. Hey, Ryan, hey. how are you? Good, how are you? Good, Hi. <laughs> Run the truck there. Right. Okay. Oh, perfect. Hello. Hi. Is she okay? <laughs> Oh, yeah, if you stand back by the fence, maybe it'll keep him from going back there. Yeah. Oh, there he is. I yeah, didn't see him in time. I didn't see him in time. <laughs> oh, he's really that big. Is that kid okay? Okay. Okay, here. Can anyone pick those up, those tongs? Um, yeah, you can buy them from a place called Midwest Tongs online. Yeah, that's where I get these. Oh, yeah. It's called the Gentle Giant, this, this particular yeah. pair of tongs. Oh, this one's a feisty one. Hey, lady. <laughs> yeah, feisty. He's probably going to attack in there. Cool. You got a couple in there, or what? No. Do you have a couple in there? No. No, just the one. Just one? Can you only do one at a time? Or? No, no, I can put... Yeah, there he is. I want there. Okay, you. Uh -huh. I can tell that kid that. There's a light in there because I got to take his picture. Oh, shoot, I left my iPhone in the Jeep. I'll go grab it. <laughs> oh, now I'm stuck with him. Anyways, back to the video. <laughs> well, you gotta take the picture so I can compare it with the photo database. Yeah. And enter it in the photo database for next time this, I come across this one too. This is probably a new one. I think this is a female snake. Ow. Not happy. Obviously. Distinct marks, so I should be able to check and see if she's one that we've seen before. Hopefully. This turned out to be a female who I encountered last year as well on July 14th, and at that time she was down on Canyon Boulevard um, on the floodplain. So, still kind of in the same neighborhood and definitely from the same, you know. Denning region, though I don't know if I'm replacing her exactly where she needs to be. I've been putting her in upper pops in on both occasions. This one needs a name. I don't have a name for her yet. All right, get out of here. Let's go. You're free. You're now free. You don't have to go under a car. <laughs> <laughs> Had a flinch there. There you go. There you go, you're back in your natural habitat. 